What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today we're talking camera arms. I have been self filming now for quite a while, maybe five years, four years, something like that. And uh, I've been through four different camera arms now. Uh, I started out with an inexpensive muddy camera arm. I quickly upgraded to the fourth arrow, their camera arm when, when fourth arrow that company launched. Uh, then I changed out and went with the out on a limb reach camera arm and now what I'm going to be using this season is the fourth arrow talon micro arm kit so the new arm from fourth arrow so I wanted to do kind of a comparison of the last two camera arms that I'm using talk about why I like one versus the other what I look for in a camera arm kind of the features and and things that make one maybe a little bit better than the other little bit of a disclaimer I used the out on a limb reach camera arm every single hunt last season I used it for a full season I took it to Montana to hunt elk I took it to the Midwest to hunt whitetails I used it in the sweltering heat in Georgia I used it in Michigan I used it all over the country so very 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 familiar with this arm here the out on a limb reach I just got the fourth arrow talon kit so I've only set it up on a few different trees and kind of messed around with it and obviously I've done my uh, my little DIY stuff to it but I've never used it in a tree on a hunt so I can't really speak to how well it will actually work in a tree I can only speak to how well it feels in practice and then basically use my experience with other camera arms to kind of extrapolate from there and figure out just how far or how how good I think this camera arm is first of all let's talk about weight and bulk the the out on a limb version is is quite a bit lighter uh, it's a little over a pound lighter which is significant when you're talking about um, you know already kind of a low weight item this one weighed two and a half pounds I think a little bit more than and this one weighed right at four pounds so pretty significant weight difference as far as bulk they're about the same they pack up pretty similar the the arm for the fourth arrow is a little bit more compact than the arm on the uh, reach and the base of the fourth arrow is a little bit bigger than the base for the fourth uh, the uh, out on a limb reach real similar in bulk I can't really tell a difference in bulk but weight there's a significant weight difference now does that weight difference matter um, it actually is a positive and a negative for me and I'll explain that when I get to the usability section what about price how do they compare well the fourth arrow offering is 209 and the reach is 239 so 240 210 so about a $30 price difference not a huge difference but worth mentioning uh, a little bit better value with the fourth arrow option what about build quality are they the same no the fourth arrow offering is mm, there's nothing really wrong with this one but the the quality of production in the fourth arrow offering it, it, it's just a little better um, again there's nothing wrong with it it's just you can really see the welds and see how it was put together with a lot of off-the-shelf material not a lot of proprietary stuff going on here uh, with, the, with the reach or excuse me with the fourth arrow kit this arm is is one solid piece of billet that they've drilled out holes versus this is uh, it, it's just not it the build quality actually matters when it comes to usability but for for build quality I would say the fourth arrow uh, offering is, is is better finally let's talk about usability now I already said in the beginning that I've used this for a full season so I have quite a bit of experience using this one and I'm pretty new to this one however I'm not new to filming in general so I have a pretty good idea of how this thing is gonna work in the tree now first of all the straps on both of these suck out on a limb fourth arrow if you guys are listening the ratchet strips gotta go I put uh, over the center buckles on both of mines I changed the straps out on both of these particularly the out on the limb version because of the way it's designed with only three points of contact when you're setting it up and getting it tight it wants to move a lot on you 
So I had to redesign the strap, and I got that tip from uh, Garrett Prawl, the DIY sportsman, and I kind of redesigned the strap, and I and I actually used the same style of strap on the the fourth arrow kit. And again, these are just these are webbing straps that I had in my garage, and I got a couple of boat buckles from Eastern Woods Outdoors and made new straps. So you're gonna have to redo the straps on both of them, in my opinion. The, the, the strap from 4th Arrow is usable, absolutely 100% usable. The downside for me on that one is it comes with the ratchet strap. I hate ratchet straps. I, I don't have a single ratchet strap anywhere in my system, so I'm throwing that away right, right off the bat. Uh, the reach strap is totally unusable in my opinion. It was big and bulky, it was really short, you can only get it on small trees. I mean, I never once, hey, hey, knock it off. I never took that strap to the woods. I immediately threw it away. They need to, they need to redo their strap, it's bad. The other thing about usability is both of them need some silencing right off the bat. Uh, for, the, for the fourth on a limb version, I went ahead and put the stealth strips on it right now just to quiet everything down. There's some noise when you adjust the reach. Uh, I I could have I should have put cell strips on this thing. I just never did. I uh, yeah for whatever reason I just I just never did it. So the the most important factor for me when deciding between these two camera arms over everything, which I I think there's some pros and cons to each system, but the number one con to me for the reach and the reason why I, I'm changing it out is I could never get it to hold level. Now. Maybe that's because I use a, a larger camera. I use a Sony AX700 camera. Um, so it's on, the, it's on the bigger side, but it's still way under the ratings for this, this camera arm. I think it's supposed to hold 10 pounds. I can't remember, but it, it, it didn't for me. I would, the way you set it up is you, you put your base on the tree and then you drop the arm in. Then you drop the arm in, the arm has a little bubble level right here. So the, the thing is you, you drop it in and then you get it level and you set it. Then you put your, your camera you know, out here. Well, for me, no matter how good I got it here, the level here at the base, whenever I extended the arm out, it was always out of level, always. And I, I found some workarounds with it. I figured out that if I where if I got the level here kind of out of level that by the time I extended it it would kind of offset that and then it would be kind of level and it worked but it's just not the way it's supposed to be so that was my big major huge gripe and the reason why I'm changing is I just could never get it level now I don't know if I got a dud or if, um, if a lot of people are experiencing that I don't know I, I would assume that it was just me and that I just, you know, this particular one, I probably should have sent it back to out on a limb and gotten another one, but I, I just didn't. Um, so that's my major gripe. Now, the fourth arrow is, this thing is so solid. It, it feels much more solid when you put it on a tree, and I think that's because there's a, there's a, there's a pound more of metal here, and I think that it just translates into a little bit better user experience. I like. I also like the way they designed the shorty arm here. So I can see how this is going to be pretty useful in a tree. Whereas I never really had an issue with this one. It's just the way it was designed um, is just a little bit different. And I think I like this design just a touch more, but I, I can't really say for sure until I use it uh, extensively. All in all, which is my pick? And this is, it seems like I get asked this all the time, is which one should I buy? I think they're both good, and I think you could buy either one of these just depending on what you want out of a camera arm. If you have a really small camera, a little small handy cam, and all you're really interested in is filming for your, you know, your own personal, you know, your own personal use. You just want to film it, show your friends, stick it in a, on your computer and just save it and come back and look at it every now and again, it, it's purely hobby use, I would say this is a pretty dang good option for you. It's really light. It's, it's easy to use if you make a couple of upgrades. You may have to fight with getting it level. Um, may not matter to you. If, if, 
that's who you are, I would say this is a really good option. The flip side of that is this is a little bit less expensive. So if you if that's who you are, then you might wanna spend a little bit less. So this might be a better value. If you are trying to use it in a professional sense or you know, you're trying to build a YouTube channel or you know you want maybe a little bit more refined product, I would say go with this one. I used to own a fourth arrow camera arm and I sold it to get this one and that fourth arrow camera arm that I had, the original version, was awesome. I never had the first problem. It was just big and bulky and that's why I went to this. So uh, which one should you buy? You should buy both. Test them out and see which one you like and then return the one that you don't like. I'm sticking with this one. I'm going to end up selling this one. I don't think one really outshines the other to where it's just a no-brainer. Um, I would say just figure out how you want to use the camera arm and then pick based off of that. My recommendation is this one. It's a little bit cheaper. It works a little better, but it's also heavier. So apparently you can't have everything right now. But what I am going to do is talk to my buddy Garrett and see if he can help me lighten up this base. And if we can do that, then we'll be in business. So that's it for the camera arms. Hopefully this made sense and hopefully this helped you maybe make you uh, help you make your decision for which camera arm you're going to be taking into the woods. You guys go outside, go hiking and biking and camping and fishing. It's almost hunting season, so get ready for hunting season and you guys just do whatever it takes to get outdoors. Ah!